All right, welcome to the tutorial on the candle holder. Uh, prior to this tutorial, you hopefully have made the puzzle cube and been successful at that and learned some basic skills in Inventor. You'll need those in order to complete this tutorial. Uh, candle holder, where do we begin? Let's uh, head up here to starting a new project. Uh, what type of new project are we going to start? Well, let's start a part. So our candle holder will be a part. And what we're going to do here is as it loads is uh, the, consider the first thing. And the first thing we should do is probably change our units, our drawing environment units, to something appropriate for what we're working on. So a small candle holder, uh, if we head up here to view, uh, sorry, tools, that's right, document settings, and units. A small candle holder, I believe, the best unit for you to use would be the millimeter unit. Uh, some of you have chosen centimeters. I've seen you working in centimeters. Problem with centimeters is you got to work with decimals all the time. So if something was uh, 34 millimeters wide, you would have to put in 3.4 centimeters. It's just extra work. So 34 millimeters is easier to enter in my opinion. So let's just stick with millimeters and hit apply. And we'll close that. And now everything we draw will be in millimeters. Now, back to making a 2D sketch. So a 2D sketch, we're going to head over to Sketch first, the tab, and start a 2D sketch right there and pull up these planes that we're familiar with. Click on the XY plane. Just like we did with the puzzle cube, here's where we're starting from. So we have this uh, vertical line which represents our Y axis and the horizontal line is our x-axis. So we're going to draw a line using the draw a line feature. Click on that. Start at the origin here of the x and y axes and extend out in the x direction. How far? Well this will be something you'll have to determine for yourself by measuring the t-light. Um, if you don't have the t-light, ask me. It's usually up on my desk somewhere. So uh, we'll measure the diameter of the t-light but as much as we're going to measure the diameter of the T-light, we have to remember uh, that we are, I, this is the first time I've told you this, but we're only going to draw half of it. So the radius is what we really want. So we're going to draw half a T-light in our 2D sketch, and that'll become apparent as to why later. So I'm not going to tell you what the diameter of a T-light is. I'm just going to pick some random numbers here, and I'm going to say that the radius of my T-light, half its diameter, is 20 millimeters. So I'm going to hard key in 20 millimeters and hit enter. And now I've got a line 20 millimeters long. Move your cursor to the vertical direction. And see it's 90 degrees and it's giving me a 6.549 millimeters. I now have to enter a height. Um, the height will depend again on my design. I have to decide I need enough wall on my tea light holder that it will cover the tea light and the flame to protect the flame from any wind or anything like that. And uh, I don't have to have it as tall as like a glass. Uh, a water glass or something, but I do have to have it tall enough, so I have to make a decision. This is a design decision, and I'm going to again do something random. I'm going to think it's uh, 35 millimeters high, or what you might call 3.5 centimeters, but please, 35 millimeters is easier to work in, so we'll stick with millimeters. There we go. Went off the screen, so what I'm going to do is just use our abilities we've learned already to reposition the drawing on the screen. Oh, it's even too big, so I'm going to make it a bit smaller. And now I'm going to head off in this direction, not five millimeters, but that direction, and establish how thick a wall I want on my T-Light holder. So I think two millimeters would work. So I'm going to enter that. Then I'm going to head downwards. And I would like a two millimeter wall on the bottom of the cup. So if I made it 35 millimeters high, because I can see that in my sketch, I now need to head down 33 millimeters. Enter. And now I'm just going to go back horizontally to the y-axis, right there. My cursor had a little green dot appear beneath it. And then I'm going to go back to the origin. And now I have basically, I'll say that's the end of that. Escape, escape. I have an L shape, is what I have. And it doesn't look like a T-Light holder right now, but it will. So right now I'm going to hit finish sketch. There I go. It's gone into its 3D mode now, Inventor has and I'll put it on the screen so we can see it. So the next thing I'm going to do, maybe I'll make that a bit smaller so we can see it, 
is I'm going to choose a new command in the 3D Model tab that we haven't used yet called Revolve. Click on Revolve. My part, because it's closed, has been selected as a solid and it's now ready to revolve. And what I'm going to choose is the axes around which to revolve. So click on that, head over to your browser, and inside the origin folder, if I click the little plus sign and, and look in there, I can see the y-axis. When I hover over it, it gives me a white line saying that's, that's the way the y-axis is. What, what would you like to do? So I'm just going to click on the y-axis. And as soon as I did that, it completed the revolve. If I like it, I push OK. Otherwise, I can cancel right now. I'm going to push OK, and now it's permanent. So here we go. Well, as permanent as anything gets in the digital environment. So here we go. I'm looking inside. I have a cup. Now, the next thing I pointed out in my little tutorial, face-to-face -face tutorial I did the other day, was these corners. They're sharp. I could leave it sharp if I want. That's fine. But I think I want to add a little detail to that, which is a radius. So I can back up into my 2D sketch and go and fix that, because I made them sharp in my 2D sketch. 2D sketch. Why don't I just go and fix it? So where it says Revolve here, this browser window on the left is constantly tracking everything you're doing and keeping sort of a history. So if I hit the plus sign, you can see my sketch in there. My, they called it Sketch 1. If I right-click on that, I can edit the sketch. And when I right-clicked on it, you can see the original sketch. It's highlighted in blue. So now I'm inside my sketch, and I can go back and fix this. So what I'm going to choose up here is the fill it command. And as soon as I click on fill it command, it says, hey, here's a radius that you could, you could use. And I, I think I'm going to use it. It's suggesting it, so let's see what it looks like. So this radius I'm going to apply to this line and this line. There they are. And this line and this line. And then I'll finish sketch. Okay? So now, if I look inside, it's all radius and I have a cup. I think I'm going to stop here and I'll have a second video on how to actually put the holes in the cup. But this is a good place to stop. So you've made a radius, you've created a 2D sketch, you've learned how to use a revolve tool, and you've used the fillet tool to give a radius to a corner. And that's where this will stop, and this is tutorial one of two, I guess. So.